The Undisputed Era is here. Cole, O'Reilly, and Fish, the most elite superstars in the entire world. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Bobby Fish and Roderick Strong. At a combined weight of 405 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. You're looking at a collection of some of the most successful internationally traveled superstars in all of sports entertainment. Now, an undisputed era may just be unstoppable. Yeah, you mentioned being unstoppable, especially when it comes to the big stage. Who could forget that, that fateful night at NXT TakeOver New Orleans when this faction not only won the North American Championship, they won the NXT Tag Team Championship and the Dusty Rhodes Classic all in the same night. Confident, cocky, but they can back it up. time at WrestleMania where they lost the tag team titles to Braun Strowman and a kid named Nicholas. You remember that? How dare you bring that up, Saxton? That's I thought it was funny, news. Byron. That's ridiculous. Thanks, Michael. There was nothing entertaining about that. It was a travesty. Sheamus and Cesaro didn't know how to handle that. Well, at least they've rebounded from it ever since. No shortage of confidence, and why should there be? They don't just set the bar, they are the bar. Sheamus is always looking for a fight, but he's on the warpath. You better clear the way, fella. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. The Celtic Warrior is a juggernaut with a red-hot temper to match his... Slow down, Saxton. I know where you're going, and Sheamus does not look stupid. Well, the human body can only absorb so much of that. Clearly on a mission here. There's a pin now, and a quick kick out from Sheamus. Too early in the match to end it. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Superstars in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. level of destruction no one was expecting. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is your, the shoulders are down. 
kicks out on the pinfall attempt. The Swiss Cyborg refusing to be shut down. That's what Cesaro is all about. Oh, I think this man needs business. Cesaro not looking so great right now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough. Adam Cole, this is going to be big. Tell me about it. And make your last shot count. It's heating up now. Unbelievable move by Adam Cole. Truly spectacular. Incredible. He's got the shoulders down. And the shoulder gets up in time. Uh-uh. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish glass kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the stat. Sheamus is looking to end this right now. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very Adam Cole, this is going to be big. Tell me about it. Make your last shot count. Is it enough to end this match? Uh, this right here is exactly what Adam Cole is waiting for. Cole knows when to pick his spots. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Unbelievable move by Adam Cole! Truly spectacular. There is no coming back from that one. He could do it here. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. Given how impactful that move. And that's it. This one is over. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here are your winners, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era. Looking dominant at times in the victory. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. Folks, we just saw...